Leslie Dickinson has only lived on State Road 39 for eight months. Already, she's seen three crashes, all within a mile from her home. And just last night, Dickinson was the first on the scene when two children were hit by a dr woman driving an SUV. Police believe alcohol was a factor in that crash and in two others that happened earlier this year not connected to this wreck. Sheriff Jeff Ward says the reason for all the wrecks may be because it's one of the only highways leading into the city from the south. Dickinson says whatever the reason, it's just plain dangerous. Just last weekend they had a wreck. Two people on a motorcycle got killed from a drunk driver. And a drunk driver hit a woman walking and then wrecked their truck here getting away, trying to get away, right down here by that tree. We are stepping up patrol. We have our DUI patrol starting next or starting Monday, which uh, some of that will be focused on State Road 39. The 39-year-old driver from last night's crash, Heather McDaniel, was not injured and was taken into custody by Clinton County deputies. She faces several charges, including operating while intoxicated, causing serious bodily injury, and criminal recklessness with a vehicle. News 18 does have an update on the conditions of the two children involved in last night's crash. 16-year-old McKenna Davis is listed in serious condition at St. Vincent Hospital in Indianapolis. Her brother, 12-year-old Stephen Hunter Davis, is listed in critical condition at Riley Hospital for Children. Holly Campbell, News 18.